Hello, I'm Clarence Gilliard. Welcome to Art Scene. In this episode, we take you behind the scenes to the place that brings you Art Scene every week, the Vegas PBS Studios. Behind me is work by Las Vegas-based artists Barbara and Larry Domsky of Domsky Glass. The Domskys donated this work to Vegas PBS and it is now permanently on display here. The Domsky's art has been exhibited throughout Las Vegas, including the Wynn Hotel, which is where our first story takes place. We all know that Las Vegas is where the world comes together for all kinds of events. This year at the Wynn Hotel, one unique showcase set out to prove the Strip can also be a gathering place for great art. My name is David Goldstein. We're at the Wynn Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the finest artists in the world at the World of Art Showcase. I'm Daniel Green. I'm an artist. My name is Max Ginsberg. My name is Steve Hanks, Jotaleal, and I'm an artist. I'm Nelson Shanks, an artist, a painter. I felt I wanted to have something big enough, important enough, to make a big splash so people can, we can get the message out there that Art is relevant, art is important. What better place than Las Vegas, Nevada to make a statement about how important art is? The artist, the artwork is probably the finest artist you're gonna get in this country. It's a great treat to go around and see a work by some of my peers and have an opportunity to, see, to meet some of the artists and uh, have discussions about our work. You don't see this type of art in today's museums, Modern art museums are not necessarily contemporary art museums. I like the idea of uh, public viewings rather than just small commercial galleries because I like the idea that many people can see the work that I'm doing and see the ideas that I'm trying to express. I believe that in my art I'm trying to express ideas that are meaningful to me and I think meaningful to society. Gallery people look at you and go, eh, you don't know nothing, which is bad. Or museums, they don't understand you have to connect with people. You have to make it relevant to them. What I was trying to do is, you know, make people happy. Like, they, when they see the paintings, they kind of react because it's the way caricatures affect me, you know. And it's, I have these paintings, I do this painting because they make me feel happy. Within my set of values and aesthetics, I paint what I, is, to me, beauty. Because nature is beauty. There's transcendental beauty, and then there's a picture that stays with you for your entire lifetime. I did a painting here called There Are Angels Among Us. Behind her, you see the shape of the angel wings. So, and, and I like it not from a religious point of view, but the idea that from where I was sitting, she was sort of like an angel to me. A lot of these paintings, I don't expect people to see everything that I put into them, but maybe if they have them for a long period of time, they come across all these little stories. What you see in our society today is a lack of grounding of our young people, and it's such a horrible way, and that's because we're taking the arts away from them. Artists come up to me all the time, young artists, and ask me, if you were to tell me one thing that would be the most important thing for me to do as an artist, what would it be? And I always say, oh, that's easy. Work all the time. You'll be your toughest critic. Uh, you will make the mistakes you make. You will make all the decisions on your own, but you will become who you should become. You'll become the artist that you should be. It's, it's your art, you know? It's not you being a secondhand somebody else. In this painting, I wanted to show the feeling of people losing their homes and the anguish involved. I don't want to paint a metaphor. I feel in a land where I have freedom to express myself, I can paint the actual thing. I don't need to paint the metaphor. So that's, you know, a reason for this. The more art that is in society, the more of a reflection we see ourselves. We don't see it. We don't know that it's relevant, and we don't know who we are. The big picture is to make art relevant to every single human being on this planet. This painting is entitled, What Have We Done to Angels? And the implication is, uh, by seeing the image and figuring it out, that, uh, that we have taken some of our higher values and some of our uh, perhaps ethics and morals and uh, uh, views of things um, 
uh, either for granted or discarded, discarded them as a society. I like very much the idea of, uh, of making social comment without, uh, without disregarding beauty. There's always a way of pointing the way rather than complaining about the wrong way. My message to anybody who's looking at this is you are relevant. The power of one is extremely relevant. And that's what art will teach you. Whether you do it, whether you immerse yourself and collect it, it will make you whole, make you safe. I paint because I, I like to do it. I, I don't intentionally do it because I know someone will see it, it will enjoy it. I just do it because I enjoy it. So I find, when, but in this event, I find so, so, so happy. It may make you go because I feel the same reaction I have with the painting. So I'm just happy to do it. This is the kind of supportiveness that I think is wonderful for the arts and I think that artists should have. A lot of people are scared to approach art and to make it part of their lives. Either they're told that they have no talent or that they know nothing about art. All you need to love any art is your eyes, your mind, and your heart. And that wraps it up for this edition of Art Scene. I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the station that brings you our show and many others every week. For more on Vegas PBS and Art Scene, visit VegasPBS.org and VegasPBS.org slash Art Scene. And until next time, I'm Clarence Gilliard. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>